The Ohio State government is set to review and implement the guidelines on integration of adolescent and youth-friendly services into her primary health centers. Commissioner for Women Affairs and Social Inclusion, Thausat Sani, stated that government would ensure more access to adolescent sexual and reproductive health services during and after this pandemic. Correspondent to Lutaya Famous School reports. The onset of the COVID-19 pandemic has alarmingly witnessed a rise in cases of abuse of innocent girls across the country. This forum is an interactive session organized by the Oyo State Society for Family Health and the state's COVID-19 tax force, and it seeks to engage the media as a tool to reduce cases of adolescent abuse. Organizers of this event say they are not oblivious of the numerous challenges confronting the girl child in Nigeria. At any opportunity that we have, we tend to interface with them and educate and let them know the danger and how to be able to pass our message across to the wider community. Then by way of design as well, we have some youth-friendly uh, services in PHC, which is one of the ones being supported by SFH and A360. The yeah. event was also an opportunity for the Oyo State COVID-19 emergency manager to assess the extent of work done by his team. We have data that um, reveal that we have community transmission. And that tells us that um, it's no longer a case of um, people that came in from after the confines of the state, but that this thing is now within the state and um, it is transmissible within the state. Um, we need to um, do quite a lot more in our healthcare facilities to ensure that the infection rates within the healthcare system is kept at bay as much as possible. The Oyo State Society for Family Health, in conjunction with other development partners, have resolved to ensure that all adolescent girls have more access to primary health care facilities during and after this pandemic. Olutai of Moscow, TVC News, Ibadan.